Hi, greetings. This is Subramanian, author and sales trainer. We are discussing about each chapter of my first book, Anybody Can Sell. And today in this video, we are going to discuss about chapter 2, which is cold calling. If you like the video, please subscribe it and share it with people. And please don't forget to press the bell button. If you want to attend my annual sales excellence program, please log into www.subbu.co. So in this video, we are going to discuss about cold call. So in cold call, we are going to discuss about why cold call, whom we have to do cold calling, when we have to do cold calling, what we have to achieve by doing cold calling, and more importantly, how to do cold calling. 4W1H, we are going to discuss that. First, why cold call? Many of you may think, in today's world, uh, with the with the social media marketing being very very prominent, will cold call still work? The answer is, according to me, it still works. But cold call is not the only way of generating your lead. It's one of the way. You can also try cold calling. Let me tell you one story. Not story, a real incident which happened to me uh, six years back. In that time I was running a e-learning company, and one fine day. I thought like well, leads are less, so I just went to Google and typed top 10 e-learning companies of India and I got a list. So I want to work with this top 10 e-learning companies so that they can outsource the project to me. So I, I started calling one by one. When I reached sixth company, sorry, when I reached my sixth company, I got some lead because in the first five companies they told they didn't understand they they cut the call or they didn't pick all these things happen sixth company the receptionist uh, picked my call and uh, when i asked her please connect me to the uh, content head uh, i'm uh, my name is subramanian i'm running and the ceo of this company i'm looking for partnership with your company so please connect me to the content head she told content is not available then i asked for a mobile number she told we don't give mobile number to to people and uh, then I ask her, uh, can you please connect me to uh, give his uh, email ID so that I can I can write an email to him. He told, sir, we don't know you. How can we give the contacts? I told it's a partnership. Your company is going to lose the partnership if you don't give the email ID. To cut the story short, finally, I got the uh, email ID from, from her. And then I wrote a, a cold mail to this particular person who is the senior vice president and head of content development. And they are one of biggest e-learning service providers in the country and they have operations across uh, 23 different countries. They have more than 1000 employees. It's a big company. So the content head diligently replied back to the email saying that Subhu, we don't have any other need for your services. But while replying back, he gave his in his uh, signature. I have his uh, mobile number, Skype ID, LinkedIn profile. Everything was there. So from then onwards, I started following up with him. OK, how to do follow up in one of the chapters we will discuss. But to cut the story short, after follow up, I arranged a demo and the demo got postponed more than eight times. When the ninth time when I postponed the demo, he just gave me a call and told me, Subhu, we are already friends. This is the word he used. We are already friends because I'm already interacting with him so many times. So you just send me your sample uh, uh, videos whenever there's opportunity, I will give you a call. Then I was being in touch with him. After nine months of the cold call, there was a first breakthrough happened. And I went to that. It was in a different city. I went to that different city, met him. But when I first met him, within the next day, I got the purchase order. And it was for few lakhs of rupees. So it's a ten, ten thousands of US dollars worth of product. Uh, so a project I got from this particular customer. And it happened with a yeah, cold call. So why cold call? Still, cold call works. But we have to build the relationship just like any other lead generation. It's not just a one cold call after that cold call what we are doing. Okay, so cold call is a starting point. And we are not going to get business from all the cold call we make. So maybe if you make 10 cold calls, we make it one lead. Okay, from that one lead, how we are we are taking it to the closure. It's, it's what it's dependent upon. So why cold call? It's another mode of lead generation. Still, it works. Okay, still it works. So keep having this one of your mode of lead generation. Who you have to call? Okay, coming back to who, you call only the decision makers. So if you're having a proper telesales team who is doing cold call, 
then they will have a lot of contacts and they will keep calling every single day but if you're an entrepreneur if you're a founder of your of your startup i recommend you do one cold call every day if you do one cold call every day it's 365 cold calls okay imagine you generate at least five percentage which is around 18 proper leads and you take it to closure think about the amount of business you are going to get is one cold call per day is possible as an entrepreneur as a founder of a startup i think definitely it's possible right one cold call when you make that cold call don't call any any customer who is going to give you a small business call somebody who can change the fortune of your for your company okay that cold let the cold call baby to a really really big person the big customer okay anyway it's a cold call let's dream big so you, when you make such 365 cold calls in a year all it takes is one or two calls to get converted into your business that's all okay call make that cold call to somebody who has the influence to change your company forever of course, you may ask me a question, how do I get the yes mobile number? Of course, you have to do the homework for that, okay? So, and be ready for the rejection, okay? When you call to such big people, not everybody is going to take your call and uh, uh, allow you to proceed further. Be ready for, ready, ready for a rejection. Sales is a function of handling rejections, my friend, okay? So, who you have to call? Call a decision maker. And I, I request the entrepreneur and the founders of the startup companies, small companies to make the cold call by themselves. At least one cold call per day and call to somebody who is going to be a really, really big customer for you. Okay. That is on the who. So why we are completed, who we are completed, when, when you have to make that cold call. So if you're having a telesales team, morning 9.30 to 6.30, keep, keep doing that. But if you're an entrepreneur or a, or a, a senior sales executive uh, or a founder of a company, you are making the cold call, don't worry about the timing. I, re I recommend you should call early morning or late evenings. Call somebody at 8 o'clock, 8.30 or call somebody at, at 8 o'clock or 8.30 in the evening okay? because you're going to talk to another entrepreneur. Okay, What can happen? Worst case, they will not pick your call. Correct? They're not going to get angry for with you for that. So call them late morning or late evenings, which I feel the other senior executive or the other senior entrepreneur will most probably will have time to, to pick your call. Okay, So that's what I do when I want to talk to somebody. Uh, uh, very very senior i call them at eight o'clock or 8 30 in the morning or sometime 8 30 in the evening okay then what what you should do in the cold call in the cold call don't sell ask for appointment i repeat in the cold call don't sell ask for appointment it, your your intention is not to sell your product or service at that point in time create a curiosity and ask for your appointment okay the inter or your objective of the cold call is to get the appointment for a face-to-face -face meeting or a, or a video meeting okay and how you should do how you should pitch yourself in the in the in the cold call when you are asking for the appointment you have to understand friends why people buy in a b2b scenario people buy only for two things either they want to increase their revenue or they want to decrease their cost i repeat increase the revenue decrease their cost all other things are irrelevant to them correct in a, in a B2C scenario, a person buys a product or service because it helps them reduce their pain or increase their pleasure. Pain or pleasure, revenue or profit. Okay. So when you are doing that cold call, in the first 10, the first 10, 15 words are very important. Okay. In those 10, 15 words, you directly tell them what is the benefit they are going to get. For example, if I have to make a cold call to you, let's give you a name, say Krishna, say, good morning, Mr. Krishna. Yes. So we help automobile companies like you to increase your revenue by 30 percentage in six months. That's all. We're not talking about who you are, which company, it's, it's irrelevant to them. When you, when you say this benefit statement, the other person should ask how, and then you will sell, sir, how I can explain you, uh, can we have an appointment or you can give you a, a, a small idea about how and fix for appointment. At the end, he may ask you, hey, what's your name, which company you are? Let him or her ask your name and your company. Okay. So what he or she is interested, interested is, what is the benefit they are going to get? They are not interested in who you are, which company you are. Nobody is interested. Imagine it's a cold call. Okay. And in today's world, there is never a cold call because if you know somebody's name and mobile number, most probably you can get their Facebook page or LinkedIn page or their website and you have some idea about your prospective person. So you can directly pitch to them 
whether you can increase their revenue or you will decrease their cost and give the benefit statement very clearly okay so to summarize why cold call who could who you have to talk to in cold call when you have to make the cold call what is your objective of doing the cold call and how you have to pitch in your cold call okay so this is on chapter number two in my book anybody can sell you can also buy and read the book if you want to attend any of my sales training program you can log on to www.subbu.co and uh, reach out to me and click the link and uh, and register for my annual sales excellent excellence program if you are a corporate you want training program for your team please reach out to me in the mail id subramanian at subbu.co we'll meet you again with the in the videos of other chapter of the book till then bye bye if you like the video please share it subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell button thank you